little boy? Are you a cheeky little boy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Are you going to have some bath time in a minute? Are you going to have a bath time in a minute? Yeah, you are. Oh, you are. Why are you crying, you silly sausage? anymore. I did not like that bath. I did not like that bath. <laughs> I've cheered up now but I'm cold. I've cheered up now but I am cold. Should we get you nice and dry? Hi guys, so I am seizing the opportunity. Can I have my hair back please Bobby? Seizing the opportunity and just filming. The background is in complete disarray but the baby is currently calm so I kind of have to choose my battles with this one and if I want to film this video putting the baby down is probably not going to be an option because he is crabby today um yeah, let me just get a bit closer it's gonna be like the worst video ever like just for well just general because my hair's a mess and everything but anyway like I said when you're a parent you just have to choose your battles and to film the video means in not being perfect essentially so today i want to talk about the hip organic um baby range the hip organic bath range so i was contacted by hip when i was pregnant still in the earlier stages of my pregnancy i would say um and they were giving us the option well they basically offered to send us some products from their new range which hadn't even launched at the time so i was really excited because i'd heard obviously being pregnant loads of amazing things about hip and yeah just was excited to see what they had to offer in a bath range um so when i first um had rory um we started bathing him quite soon i would say and the range hadn't been sent to us yet so we just used um johnson's products because that's what i'd been given like with my baby shower and stuff and i was really shocked at the effect they had on his skin like it, his skin is obviously quite sensitive and after every single bath time no matter how much coconut oil i put on him he just had really really dry flaky skin and um, so i was really concerned about this um and kind of took to twitter to ask for some advice the reviews are really mixed some people were really shocked that i'd use the product on my baby anyway but obviously like rich has two kids he just did it that way my mum used johnson's so we just kind of thought it'd be okay so lots of people were shocked that i'd even used product and then the other like kind of my hair is really annoying the other kind of argument like um the other kind of section of mums raved about using organic products obviously the organic products though had a really high price tag so i didn't really kind of want to invest in them just in case you have really sensitive skin so john uh, not johnson's hip so hip sent their uh, baby bath range and um, initially i was kind of dubious because his skin had just cleared up and if he did have really sensitive skin i was nervous to use any form of product on him during bath time i also decided to reduce the amount of baths because he was having a bath every night which i do know is bad for the newborn skin now um so anyway i just thought i'd take the chance so his skin had cleared up i started using the hip range and his skin has been perfect ever since he's never ever had an issue so from about two weeks of age he's used hip and he's been absolutely fine so basically i have really romantic visions of filming rory in the bath and like showing how much he loves the bath but he decided today that he did not love baths at all and just screamed the whole way through i don't know what's wrong with him i'm quite concerned about his belly button like i'd feel like it's not healing properly um but loads of people are telling me that it is but it looks quite red and i think it was because i washed his belly like but he was crying before that he was crying before i even put him in the bath so i think he just got himself worked up so anyway so i don't have this romantic footage that i thought i would have of him enjoying his bath but anyway and I, I also may think maybe it's because i'm bathing him in the day whilst normally i bath him at night time and he finds it really relaxing and also the last few baths he's had i've got in it with him or richard's got in it with him and this was solo bath time so i don't know if that maybe upset him a little bit too i don't know my favorite product from the hip range is this um hip goodnight baby bath which is like a bath lotion like so it makes like the bubbles and just kind of gives it a nice scent and stuff this has sandalwood um fragrance in it which i always thought sandalwood would be like a woody kind of earthy smell but this smells 
quite sweet and it's really really lovely like once it's in the bath it makes the whole bathroom smell really nice it is really calming and like uh, hard to say but Rory always sleeps really well when he's had a bath but he always sleeps really really well when I've used this so I haven't used it today because obviously it's the daytime but I do normally use it baby wash uh, this product is great it's really really affordable and you get so much in there what I also really like about this product is that it's got a pump so when you are one-handed trying to hold a baby and one-handed trying to get product on the sponge it's really really simple to use The third product is the uh, Hip Baby Shampoo, which is great, actually. Rory's been really, really lucky and has suffered from kind of very, very minor cradle cap. And I really think that it's got a lot to do with this shampoo. Um, I don't wash his hair that often. Like, I probably do it every other bath and he's probably bathed once to twice a week. Um, that makes me sound really gross. If he's bathed once a week, then I'll do it. If he's bathed twice a week, then I'll just do it once for the week, basically, because I don't really want to like flare up his hair too much. But yeah, I just find that really simple. Even when he was fresh out of the hospital and still had like a gunky head, um, this kind of really got the product out of it as opposed to other shampoos and stuff. So it's really good and really gentle at the same time. So no, as I was hinting on before, oh yeah, the fourth product is still in the bathroom. I haven't got it handy, but I will kind of insert footage at some point. But it is a hand soap with like with a duck head and it's foaming. This product's really good for two reasons. So if you don't know, I have stepchildren. One is seven and one is four. They both really like it. I really like that it kidifies the house a little bit. Um, Cause obviously when you have a baby, like you go through a big, tra like obviously I have stepchildren, but their stuff gets packed away a little bit more readily. Whilst with Rory, I just leave all of this stuff out. So you have a baby, it's quite a nice transition having your house go from being really adult to really like childlike with baby toys and stuff. And I really like having a hand wash that is so obviously for children and it just makes your house look like a family house and your bathroom look like a family bathroom. Um, so yeah, anyway, there's two great things about this product that my four year old stepson really likes. And there's two novelties. One is that the bottle is the shape of a duck, which is great. It's also really funny because their father is Northern. So they like hearing him say duck as, which is, duck um yeah i can't really do the impression i'm not going to offend people by doing it but yeah they really like hearing him say that um so yeah they really like that it's shaped like a duck and also that the hand wash is foaming that's kind of a real novelty for children obviously it's the simple things for kids but it's just different to a normal hand wash it's really gentle and it doesn't dry out skin obviously also having a baby you are more conscious of germs and stuff so you wash your hands so much more often it's ridiculous and my hands have been so dry since having a baby and this is kind of the only soap that really really doesn't dry it out too much um but yeah, the thing I generally really, really love about the hip range is it's really accessible and really, really affordable. So as I hinted on before, like with organic products, normally they come with a really kind of hefty price tag. So it could be like five, six pound per product, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you have to get like shampoo, body wash, um, if you want a baby bath range or a lotion or something like that, then you know, it does add up to like 20 odd pounds, which is kind of on par with something that we would spend as a luxury product. So it does get expensive. Obviously you want the best for your baby, but it doesn't have to kind of be that expensive. The hip kind of stuff, the hip stuff like varies from two to three pounds, I think off the top of my head, it might be one to two pounds. I will check later and let you know my phone is not handy at the moment. Um, like I said, I just had to like grab the baby and film. But what I also really really like about it is it's available in my local Tesco. I don't know if that's a bit like that's the same for everybody, but anything that's kind of more convenient is really handy. So if I can just add it whilst I'm doing my food shop, that's great. I'd have to do like a separate trip to Boots or anything like that. So yeah. Yeah, that's kind of our roundup of the hip range. I've also done a blog post on this, but yeah, I am sad that I didn't get all my romantic visions of having lovely, lovely bath time footage, but that is life with a baby. <laughs> like they're very selective of what they want you to have. Even trying to film a smile like whilst he was in his towel was almost impossible. Every time I would film him, like um, every time he'd smile, I would get my camera and then he'd stop smiling. Like he just knows. But yeah, I'm overall, I'm really, really impressed with the baby range. I'm way more protective about Rory's skin than I ever thought I would be um so yeah it's quite important that I'm happy with his range and this is yeah I wouldn't change it I wouldn't mix it out and 
yeah really really impressed like i said just for something that's so affordable um you get a lot for your money and it's really really soft and gentle rory's skin is sensitive and the fact that he's had no issues with it i think says quite a lot i've read a lot of reviews about children with eczema using it and it doesn't make it any worse it kind of settles it um like and me and rich have quite sensitive skin Um, i'll get in the bath with him it doesn't bother me the hand stuff is great it just doesn't dry anything out but as an overall bath range we use it on our stepchildren as well and it's just it's great like even with uh, imogen's hair so she's seven um obviously it's like more adult hair it still cleans it just as effectively as like an adult shampoo would um but we just don't use adult products on her yet either yeah kind of rambling on now but yeah as a range i'm really really excited and happy about it um so yeah i'm gonna start doing hopefully video like product review videos every friday um i'm kind of nervous about it because i don't know how like whether people are going to be interested and stuff so if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up so i would know so i know whether you enjoyed it or not i am already failing my new year's resolution of getting better at youtube because i've already missed a video day but i am trying really really hard to kind of keep on top of things um so yeah if you want to stay around for lots and lots of baby related content then please subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye